this video we're going to go over how to take an Arabic numeral and we're going to convert it to a Mayan numeral. So Arabic to Mayan. So the first thing we need to do is get an Arabic numeral. Let's say 48,387. And what we want to do is convert this to Mayan numerals. So let's first write out some of the numbers that we can make in Mayan numerals. We can have that equal 1, we can have in that equal 5, we can have that equal 20, and that equal 100, and we're just going to continue writing this until we get to a number that's close to 48,000. It's close we can get without going over, so, whoops, that shouldn't be a dot, that should be a line. If we go up another step, this would be equal to 400, and that would be 4,000, so it looks like we're getting close. And then, let's see, that's 20 to the 0th power, 20 to the 1st power, 20 to the 2nd power. So if we multiply that by 20 again, we can have that equal, let's see, 8,000, in which case that would be... 40,000, and it looks like that's about as big as we need to go. So what do we do from here? We know at the very top of our number, we're going to have a line to represent 40,000, and we'll have an 8,000 on top of it. So that gives us 48,000. So we'll say that equals 48,000. And we need 387 more. So we go over here. Both of these are too much because the less we can get there is 400. So we'll draw a shell here to show that's zero. Or we could just left the space. And next thing that we do is we need to represent 387. Well, we can draw these lines and represent 100 each, so we'll draw three of those lines. So that's 300. We need 80, so we can draw four of these. 20, 40, 60, 80. So that's 380. And we need seven more. So we'll mark this out, and we'll draw 7 more. So 7 is 5, 6, 7. That's equal to 7, and if we add these all up, we get 48,387, which is what we wanted. 